I'm Mithin and today in this PSD 2018 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 15. In my channel, I am to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 15. Okay, so this over here is question 15 and this question is testing us on volume. Okay, so let's read the question first. X and Y are two rectangular containers. The base area of X is 30 cm square and the base area of Y has dimensions as shown. X contained 780 cm cube of water and Y was empty. Part A. What was the height of water level in X? Okay, so now that we've read the question, let's highlight the key information. So they are both two rectangular containers. The base area of X is 30 cm square and the base of y has dimensions of shown below. So we do not know the base area of y. So x contains 780 cm cube of water and y was empty. What was the height of water level in x? So I think you understand what this question is already asking us. So now let's move on to solving the question. Okay. So basically, we know that the base area of x right this base area over here so this is the base area okay this base area of x we know that it is 30 cm square so in p6 volume right we need to use this formula called volume the height is equal to volume divided by base area so I'm basically going to take the height of water level x is basically Volume divided by base area, so the volume we know is 780 cm cube. So 780 cm cube divided by 30 cm cube will give us 26 cm. So we know that the height is now 26 centimeters. Okay, so we found the height. So this is the answer for part A. Now let's move on to part B. Okay, so this is part B. Okay, so let's read part B. Sam poured some water from X into Y without spilling. After that, the height of the water level in X was the same as that of Y. How much water did Sam pour into Y? Okay, now to read the question, let's highlight the key information. So let me just quickly highlight the key information on top. Okay, after that, let me highlight this. So Sam poured some water into X into Y without spilling. So no water was spilled. After that, the height of the water level in X was the same of Y. So, X's water level, right, it becomes the same as Y. Okay? Okay, after that, they are telling us that, they are asking us how much of the water did Sam pour into Y. So, from X to Y, how much did Sam pour? So, this is what they are asking us. In order to get the same... Okay, so first, I'm going to find the base area of Y. So the base area of Y is basically this over here that I'm drawing here. Okay, this is the base area of Y. Okay, so the base area of Y has dimensions 30 cm is to 9 cm. So I'm just going to take 30 times 9. Okay, 30 times 9, it will give me 270 cm square. So this is basically the base area. So let me write down the base area. 270 cm square. And let me write down for x as well. So here it is, 30 cm square. Okay, so now that we find the base areas for both of them, let's move on to uh, doing the next step. Okay, so the next step, I, I know that the volume of water in X and Y is basically 780 cm cube plus nothing. So it's basically 780 cm cube. Okay, because nothing is nothing plus zero. So 780 cm plus zero is basically 780 cm cube. Okay, now. In order to see if they have the same height, right, you know what we should do? Since we know that the volume is, we know the combined volume, right, in order to find the height of both of them, 
I'm going to take the combined volume, divide by the combined base area. So it will give me the height of them. So it will be the same height already. So I'm going to find the total base area of x and y, which is 30 cm squared plus 270 cm squared. It will give me 300 cm squared. So first, in order to find the height of water after pouring, it's basically 780 cm3 divided by divide by 300 cm cube cm square will give me 2.6 cm so basically the height of both of them it became 2.6 cm after pouring okay okay sorry i shouldn't have drawn that line here it should be here okay so this is what should have happened so in order to find the the amount of water sand poured into Y, right? We basically need to find the the volume of Y after we found the height, okay? Because at first Y hat was empty. Okay, so in order to find the volume of Y, right, we just need to take 2.6 times 30 times 9. So it will give us 702 cm cube. So this is the answer for part B, okay? So Sam port 702 cm cube into into y. Okay, so I hope you understand my explanation for both the parts of this question. And thank you and bye bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.